Mortis is getting a makeover. It's Night Witch Mortis! <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I don't know how I feel about that. She's a night witch, she's a night witch, she's a night witch, yeah. She's a night witch, she's a night witch, she's a night witch, yeah, yeah. Hello Fall Brawlers, I'm Kairos Time, and it is time to talk about the 18 things that you probably missed from Brawl Talk that was, uh, just released. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna be giving you every single little detail that I can possibly release to you as soon as Supercell will let me, including a complete breakdown of Carl's stats, similar to what I have done for Jean and Leon in the past. Now you probably noticed that Carl's attack has two opportunities to deal damage, once on the way out and once on the way back, but the first thing that you may have missed is that Carl has only one ammo slot. Second is that he reloads his attack as soon as his axe actually returns to him, meaning that that he cannot attack while his axe is flying out. The third is that he can actually reload his attack faster if his pickaxe hits a wall before reaching maximum distance. As you can see in this clip, it normally takes 2.1 seconds for his axe to throw out and then return back to him. But in this clip, you can see that his axe actually hits a wall before reaching maximum distance, forcing it to return to Carl early, and this actually almost cuts his reload speed in half. Now my fourth point is partly speculation but that is because of point number three that it'll return if it hits a wall first. My speculation is that he will actually have the fastest reload speed in the game, being able to hit somebody, bounce it off a wall, hit them again, come back to him, and throw it back and forth over and over and over again really fast, possibly giving him the highest damage per second in the game. Now you saw that Carl Super gives him additional speed, which allows him to deal damage to brawlers around him over a period of time. The fifth thing that you may have missed is that Carl Super has the potential damage output to take out every single brawler in the game except for Frank and El Primo. Now if you pay very close attention to his super you will see that it deals 560 damage and in this clip he actually deals damage to the, the brawlers with his super twice. It's really hard to tell because of all the damage that's going on with his regular attack and the super but I slowed it down frame by frame to look and he deals damage twice. Now what I did is I timed the time between each tick of damage and that comes down to every 0.2 seconds. I then timed the duration of his super, which is 2.6 seconds. Now, if you divide that by 0.2 seconds and multiply that by 560 damage, that comes out to 7,280 damage, which is enough damage to take out every brawler in the game, except for Frank and El Primo. The sixth point is regarding Carl's attack, and you may have noticed this, but if you weren't paying very good attention, you may have missed the fact that his attack deals more than 11 brawlers in the game. It's really simple math. He deals 896 damage uh, with his attack one way, and then that same damage uh, on the way back, which is 1,792 damage, and that means that his potential damage output with a single attack is uh, right in between Bows and Ricos. The seventh thing you may have missed is the fact that Carl has a range of seven and two thirds tiles. Now, in order to figure this out, I had to take a look at this frame and use the Pythagorean theorem to measure Carl's range. It looks like it's about five tiles to the side and six tiles up and down. Now, this is a little bit of a rough estimate. I had to do some guesswork because the the decimals didn't come out exactly where I wanted it to be, but it's probably within one third of a tile from the actual true range of Carl's attack. If it's not exactly correct. Now for reference, this is actually very similar to Terra's attack range. The eighth thing that you may have missed is that Carl's HP is the same as Pam's at 6,160 health. Now this makes him somewhat tanky, which will be interesting to see what will happen when paired with his range. Point number nine is that Carl has the fastest movement speed in the game when his super is activated, and that it's even faster than Leon's. I tried to simulate it exactly by having Leon take the same path, and even though I gave Leon a slight head start, and the fact that Carl actually moved back and forth a little bit rather than following the pattern exactly, Carl reached this rock even before Leon did. That is really fast. The 10th thing you may have missed is the fact that Carl's axe will actually travel through walls on the way back if he moves so that a wall is between him and his max range position. This will actually allow Carl to move to one side of a block that someone is actually hiding behind, fire behind them, and then move to the other side so his attack will hit them. The 11th point that you may have missed is that Carl has a normally slow walk speed when he's not using his super. This is just like the majority of the brawlers in the game. And we do not know how many hits it will take for Carl to charge up his super, and we also do 
do not know what his star power is, but I will make sure and give that information to you guys as soon as I can. The 12th thing you may not have noticed is that Mortis is getting a new skin. Okay, there is <laughs> no way you missed that. The real... 12th thing that you may not have noticed is that there are no boxes in the middle of map for siege. Now Ryan said that there would be boxes and then they would then make bolts when you destroyed them. It looks like the bolts will actually just respawn in the middle that you actually have to just fight over instead of boxes. My guess is, is that was an old mechanic um, that was changed after they filmed this Brawl Talk. The 13th thing you may not have noticed is that there are different level bosses that spawn in Siege. Here's a level 6 robot that looks normal, here is a level 12 robot that looks like it went angry mode in boss fight, and here is a level 21 robot that looks like it went god mode in boss fight. The 14th thing that you may not have noticed is that no matter the boss's level, they all spawn with 50,000 health. Here is a level 6 robot and a level 21 robot with 50,000 health. My guess is that the higher leveled robots move faster and deal more damage, but your team will have the same amount of HP that they'll have to melt through if the enemy team happens to spawn a robot boss. The 15th thing is that the turret deals 2,000 damage per second. If you look at this clip and count how many times the boss actually gets hit by the turret in a four second period, it gets hit by the enemy turret eight times. And each time the turret attacks, it deals 1,000 damage damage. Now to compare that for you, Pam and El Primo have the highest damage per second in the game at 1,440 damage per second. So this turret deals damage 40% faster than either of them, which is absolutely nuts and bolts. The 16th thing that you may have missed is that the turret's range looks like it is about 11 tiles long. Now this is a very rough estimation based off of the blue and red lines that are surrounding the turret in this frame. Counting from the edge of the blue line to the side of the turret is 11 tiles, but if it's not exactly that, it's gotta be close. This is long enough to outrange every single brawler in the game, except for Gene, who also reaches 11 tiles, but uh, he does not deal 2,000 damage per second at that range. <laughs> with this range combined with the DPS of the turret, it does not look like you are going to want to get anywhere close to it without having spawned a robot boss to protect you from it. The 17th thing that you may have missed from Brawl Talk is that there is a certain amount of time before your boss spawns where it looks like you will have to pick up bolts. Here you can see that it reads next stage in seven, six, five, four, which reveals that fact. Now, I can't say all of the mechanics in the game, but I can speculate that the team that has the most bolts by the end of the countdown will be the team that actually spawns a boss. The first tip to this is that we never see more than one robot at a time in the actual, in all of the gameplay. It's always just either the red team or the blue team spawned it. And the second tip to this is that if you look at this in the upper left and the upper right hand corner of the screen, it looks like there are actually counters for the bolts that both teams have actually picked up. You can watch the blue team go from what looks like zero, then a one, then a two, and then the red team goes from four and then spawning a level four robot boss, and then the bolts going from four back down to zero upon its spawn. The 18th thing that you may have missed from Brawl Talk is that the map is actually six tiles wider and six tiles longer in Siege than in a regular 3v3 map. It did take some careful counting, but Siege has a map size of 27 tiles wide and 39 tiles long, and that is 51% bigger than regular 3v3 maps, which is a huge difference. Okay, now that I've gone over all 18 things that you may have missed from Brawl Talk, it is time for me to tell you what I think about this update so far. First of all, Night Witch Mortis? I'm gonna have to do some soul searching on this, cause uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just kinda awkward. I, I'm a huge fan of Clash Royale, and I'm stoked that they're integrating some more skins um, into Brawl Stars, but uh, I don't know, it's really weird. I mean, I have to have every skin in the game because I'm a Brawl Stars YouTuber, right? I, I just don't know. I am really curious to know what you guys think about Night Witch Mortis, so please, Please drop a comment in the section below, guys. The next thing is Carl, okay? This is, he looks super interesting. I'm really excited to play him. He he looks like, a, where he's tanky like Pam and almost has as long of a range, but his damage won't disperse like Pam's is at Pam's range. I am really curious to see where he will actually fit in the meta. I would not be surprised to see him as a gem carrier. I'm just praying that he won't be a legendary or a mythic. I uh, can't afford to open up any more boxes, guys. I have I have done way too much gemming recently. It's just, 
Yeah, I will I'll straight up buy him when he's out. But I'm not opening up brawl boxes. Mostly what I wanted to talk about is Siege. Because we've had re we've had new brawlers, but it's been a long time since we have had a new competitive game mode. And I have been begging for it. It has been over a year. And I'm so excited. And this looks like a ton of fun. It looks like Heist and League of Legends had a love child. And I'm so excited to play it. It looks like from the gameplay that it is a 3v3 game mode, but where the maps are 50% bigger, I would love it if they made this a 5v5 game mode. I have been begging for a 5v5 game mode, and I'm really hoping to have a 5v5 game mode in Brawl Stars, and this looks like the perfect situation where it might be possible. I'm really curious to know why the game mode will give double tokens, double trophies, and double EXP. It has me wondering how long one of the matches will typically last, and how long it will actually take to spawn a robot boss, uh, because... The robot bosses, I mean, like I said, you're not going to want to get close to that turret safe unless you have a robot boss on your side to help defend it. it it'll be really interesting. I cannot wait to get my hands on it and uh, see what kind of meta will develop. Honestly, so far, this update is looking really fantastic. And I really want you guys to tell me what you are most excited for in this update. And if you haven't subscribed by now for these this quality sneak peeks that I'll be showing you guys, then... Uh, yeah, I guess you can just leave. <laughs> I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in the update. <laughs> Bum 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 b